Wushu, the ancient martial art, embodies the rich cultural heritage and disciplined spirit of Chinese tradition. Through fluid movements and powerful techniques, Wushu bridges the gap between physical prowess and cultural expression. Silat, an integral part of the Malay community, preserves the rich traditions and martial prowess passed down through generations. In the Malay community, Silat is more than just a martial art. It's a cultural cornerstone that embodies the values, history and spirit of its people. Silambatam, the traditional martial art, showcases the agility and strength inherent in ancient Tamil culture. Rooted in the history of South India, Silambam uses the art of the bamboo staff to reflect the valour and cultural heritage of the Tamil people. And welcome to Let's, Let's Embrace, Embrace Celebrating, Celebrating Harmony 2024. 2024. I'm Kazar from Oli 968. And I'm Catherine Robert from Class 85 FM. Before we move on, let's give a loud round of applause for the sensational opening performance by Marshall House, Aliran Bebas, and Kalari Academy. At this time, we would like to thank all our special guests and say a huge welcome. And thank you so much for joining us today.
That's right. Thank you, Mr. Masago Zulkifli, advisor to Tampines GRC Grassroots Organizations, and Dr. Charlene Chun, second advisor to Tampines GROs. Ken, as you know, this entire month is uh, dedicated to celebrating racial harmony. Yeah. So there's going to be many events just like this that we can check out. Yes, definitely. And it's amazing what we can discover about each other's cultures and about Singapore's diversity. To tell us more, please welcome on stage, Advisor Masagos. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming to this part of Singapore, Tampines, and welcome to our Tampines Hub. In Tampines Hub, it's special not because this one is the first and probably the largest hub in Singapore, where we bring in facilities for our residents to use. But you will find that when you come to the hub through the years, we celebrate every festivity that our people find important to. There, we will celebrate Christmas, we will celebrate Hari Raya, we will celebrate Chinese New Year, we celebrate Deepavali, not in that order of importance. We celebrate all of them. And every time we celebrate these events, we bring something special. For example, during the Hari Raya, we know there are bazaars everywhere in Singapore. But instead of doing just the normal bazaar, commercial bazaar, we bring in other cultures, other countries' cultures to also exhibit what it means to be a Muslim. For example, there's a Turkish booth, we have Moroccan booth, we have Indonesian booth to show that the Muslims are actually from all over the world, not just the Malays in this part of the world. In the same way too, when we have the Chinese New Year Bazaar, we not only sell Chinese delicacies, we have also those who provide for the Muslims halal cookies. Cookies which are actually for Chinese, or in the, in the style of a Chinese, but actually can be consumed by everybody. So this is the special thing that we have in Singapore. It's not something that we feel normal. Uh, really, it is something that from all over the world, when we bring them here and show them how we live, they say, wow, how did you do this? How did you get here? How come it's been like this for... 60 years, and it takes a lot of effort and work. It is always a work in progress. Every time we think we are okay, we are happy with one another, uh, don't stop, don't rest, because we still need to continue, we still need to work together to expand our common spaces. And today I'm very happy NHB has brought this celebration to Tampines Hub. In fact, this is the first time we are doing a celebration of our cultures by NHB in our Tampines Hub. Uh, although I would say like just now, we're doing this uh, throughout the year, this is special because for the first time, it is not local, it is national. So I, I, I hope that over the years, they will do, continue to do this as one of the marquee events in Tampines to celebrate a very important commemoration of the importance of racial harmony in Singapore. For those who may not know, maybe they are new citizens over here, the reason why we celebrated in this month is because there was a tragedy uh, in 1964, just before we became independent. A racial riot actually happened. People died. People started to suspect one another. People start to ask, what's happening? And since then, we understood the price of peace. That once you do not maintain it, once you do not continue to work on it, something can go wrong badly. But it's very fortunate for us that we have recovered and we keep wanting to remind ourselves that this must never happen again. So one thing we have done, of course, is that we are now living close to one another. We have neighbors who are Chinese, neighbors who are Malays, Indians working together. We also go to national service together. We go to school together. But I want to just ask one thing of all of us who are here today to remind ourselves one important thing, and this is part of what my ministry work, works on, and that's the family. It is where we teach our children about the importance of keeping 
harmony alive with our neighbors who may not be like us. Different religion, different race. But if we get it right from the family to respect our neighbors, to learn to value them as fellow human beings, as fellow citizens, if our families get it right, I believe we will get it right for good. There's one thing my father taught me when I was young. When we moved to a new neighborhood, the first thing he got me to do was to get a platter of food, to go to all the neighbors, to tell them, we are so-and-so living in this, this part of the house or, or this part of your neighborhood. We like to introduce ourselves. And I do the same now that I move to my new neighborhood. I go to next door and I give them something to tell them, hey, welcome, I'm, I'm your neighbor. And I think we should all try to do these kind of things, simple things our parents teach us, and continue to leave these values on so that Singapore continues to be a place where we continue to be a model city, not just in terms of the infrastructure we build like this, but the way we live together. Thank you. Thank you, Advisor Mazagos, for the wonderful speech. You know, Katha, there are actually so many activities that everyone can enjoy here. Like they've got workshops, they've got storytelling sessions, they've got walking tours. And on top of that, if you're a creative person and you like some crafts, they've got stress ball making workshops. You know, that's exactly what the Goodhood exhibition is all about, to show that fundamentally, a lot of these, you know, things that we hold dear, the values that we hold dear, are universal. Kat, you know something else which is universal? I know. I know. What? Love. Yeah lah. Yeah. Love songs with Catherine Roberts. That's me. That's me. No, I was actually speaking about dance. Dance? Yeah. Dancing? Dancing. Okay, dancing, dancing. Dancing. It's... Yes, like disco, you know? Okay. I feel like you're chasing me. <laughs> are, we, are we dancing? Oh, this is dancing. Yes, disco dance. <laughs> we are moving to our position. <laughs> dance is a universal way of celebrating a community's identity, then most importantly, tradition and vibrant spirit. That's true. So what is the next performance? It's an ethnic Malay dance that combines traditional techniques and aesthetics with contemporary inspirations. Wow, that sounds impressive. This dance group has performed at Medicorp Surya's Sinar Labaran, the National Day Parade and the global stage. Now I definitely can't wait to see them perform. Who are they? Please put your hands together for Artistari Gantari.
artist Tari Gantari is one of the many local Malay arts organizations that preserves the Malay language and culture through dance. That's right, Kat. And speaking of preserving culture, it's time for one of the oldest classical Indian dance form. That's right. Originating some 2,000 years ago, Bharatanatyam was first performed in temples. Today's captivating performance has remained true through the Bharatanatyam dance form while adapting contemporary styles. Let's give it up for the Gayatri Dance Academy. Lakshmi Barama do some dancing. Yeah, when I see them dance, I want oh. to perform. Oh, wow. Okay, you're truly a performer then. Yes. But that dance was very intricate and very expressive. That's because in classical Indian dance, meaning is conveyed in the dancer's expression, okay. hand gestures, right. and eyes. Wow. So if I like, did this... Oh. I think I can do it. Yeah. Bad, right? Oh, looking like Deepika Padukuna. Ah, that's the plan. <laughs> that's the goal. Okay, Ken, how about the uh, Eurasian community? Mm. Do you have a traditional cultural dance? We do have a traditional folk dance. Now, it's usually performed at festive occasions and weddings, and it's to the song Jinkly Nona. Jinkly Nona? Yes. No, I want to see this Nona. No. <laughs> Well, it is, you are right, it means fair maiden. Um, but if you want to learn to dance, I'm going to need some help. So I'm going to invite up on stage okay. some experts. We've got Thomas Hogman and Sophia Tupas from the Eurasian Association. Let's welcome them. Hi, Sophia Hello. and Thomas. Wow. Hello. Guys. Wow, I really like your colorful outfits, huh? Very colorful. Thank you. These are traditional Portuguese costumes. And ah. they were gifted to us by the Portuguese embassy, actually. The Portuguese embassy? Wow, I'm Eurasian and I didn't even know that. Okay, Sophia and Thomas, I'm ready to learn Jinkly Nona. Uh, I don't Can you teach think me? that's how it is. Of course <laughs> not there, but first you have to get dressed. So for you, we have this wonderful vest. Oh, you got my size. Yeah. That's great. Okay, next. And 
shares the sesh. Yes. There you go. Wow, red, really? It looks good on you, man. Can you give me a red cloth? I can do like a... No, no, that's not what we're doing. Oh, okay, yes. No. Okay, so... We'll have to put on this skirt. Oh, wow. Okay. This skirt over my pants is really a look, huh? Oh, you look like Little Red Riding Hood. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, oh. It's tight. It's tight, huh? Uh, but I still okay. can breathe, don't worry. Now I'm looking like Jinkly Kader. And I'm and like Catherine, Catherine Nona. Nona. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the song that we're about to dance to, Jinkly Nona, actually means Fair Maiden in the Kristang language. Kristang is a language comprising of Portuguese vocabulary and Malay grammar. Mm -hmm. It was first introduced when the Portuguese arrived in Malacca in 1511. Wow, a long time ago. Okay, so you want to learn some steps? Yes. Okay, so the first thing you got to do, Kate, hold eh? your uh, hands on your hips, sway from right to left, like right. this. Left. Wow. Very right. handsome. Looking very handsome. A Do natural. I look handsome? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you I'm try me. And we go right and left. Right and left. I think we can do That's this. That's so huh? simple. Yeah. This is what you do for the next three minutes. <laughs> oh, well, there's one more step. Do you okay. guys know the do si do? No, I only know do re mi. Okay. Come, <laughs> okay. we put hands like this and we go round and round. Oh, oh okay. how many rounds? Until you're dizzy. Until <laughs> dizzy? Oh my god. Okay, let's unwind. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. This undoes the dizziness. That's it, that's it. I need to dance. How? Still want to dance? I'm still dizzy. Dizzy? Yes. Okay. okay. I think, you know what? We've practiced enough in the last one minute. I think we're ready to do a routine. What do you think? Okay. Yes. Oh. Well, I need the energy from them. All right. Come on. Come on, you gotta give it up. Give us the energy. Music, please. Okay, wait, 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 wait. One more step. Oh. One more step. Come. You have to switch places. Oh, switch. Oh, oh we gotta, okay. Better. Our respective partners. Well, there you go. Now, music, please. <laughs> Once again, we're going to say a huge thank you to Sophia and Thomas from the Eurasian Association. Thank you. Thank you. Kat. All right, Katha. Katha, how are we doing? Kat, it was like a workout. Healthy lifestyle. Healthy lifestyle. I've lost 500 calories. I think I lost the same, but that's always a good thing, right? It was energetic. Definitely. Did I have fun? Alrighty, well, this next performance, I can promise you, once you hear it, you'll know it and you'll be singing right along. Let's put our hands together to the stars of our show, Del N, Taufik Vadisa, Sudashni, and Elvin Ung. Yo 
budak baru belajar Kalau salah tolong tunjukkan Rasa sayang, hey Rasa sayang, sayang, hey Hey, lihat nona jauh Rasa sayang, sayang, hey Buat cempat daki luar pakar Ambil kalah tolong colokan Kami budak baru belajar Kalau salah tolong tunjukkan Rasa sayang What a great performance. Yeah. We definitely wanted to chat with you all and find out what racial harmony means to you. So we'll start with you, Elvin. What does racial harmony mean to you? I think uh, racial harmony means that we Singaporeans are very lucky people because we get the best of so many worlds right at our doorstep, you know? And then we get to love each other, respect each other, tahan and embrace woman pu yang our differences <laughs> right uh, eat prata together and uh, learn from one another Definitely. so only together can we make singapore a beautiful home where it's cozy on the inside and admired from the outside nice Definitely. how about you what does racial harmony mean to you i think racial harmony is so important it is one of our secrets actually that we have been really really successful as a country um, understanding one another, uh, respecting one another is something that is really, really important, especially what's happening around the world. So this is something that we must hold on to strongly and we will always stay united no matter what happens. So racial harmony is something that is really, really important to me. Well said, well said. So Dashni, I've got a question for you. What personal experiences have you had with a different culture? 
I think I would say recently during Hari Raya, oh my God, I think I have an amazing neighbor. So during Hari Raya on the first day itself, she knocked on my door and then she gave me a lot of cookies and like her treats which I was so thankful for, and she didn't have to, right? But she thought of us, and then in return, luckily, I had some Indian sweets. So I passed to her so for her relatives to celebrate. So I think I enjoy that, and I also love seeing everyone, right, in Hari Raya wearing different baju, like pink colour theme, purple colour theme. Mm. Like, it's beautiful. My mom and I will just keep our doors open just to admire the beautiful families in different colours. So I think I really like that. I love that. I, I also heard you say sweet treats. Did yeah. you yes. make the sweet treats? Though? Yes, I did, actually. So if yeah. I knock on your door, I will get of some? Of course, girl. You have a lot. <laughs> yeah, so Rajni, where you stay, uh, uh, I want to knock on the auntie's door. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, any personal experience you'd like to share? Oh, I would say today, it's so heartening to see everyone come down to celebrate all the unique talents, regardless of race, religion. I think that's really heartening. And to me, this is the best. We'll show how many experience. You, Honestly, let's hear it for our friends. What a wonderful performance they put out. A big round of applause for Taufik, Sadashni, Daryl Ann and Elvin. Thank you. As mentioned, right, racial harmony is crucial in Singapore and we must continue to cherish and embrace it. Yes, strength in unity and diversity. And that brings me to my next question. Yeah? What's next? Performance. Oh. By who? By who? I, I, I want to know who is it by. <laughs> Our next performers aspire to promote and share the rich culture, heritage of Chinese dance. How? Well, by nurturing a deep appreciation for its beauty, its artistry and significance. Please put your hands together for Tu Yun Chinese Dance Academy. <laughs>
All righty, it's definitely time for our grand finale, and it's definitely going to be an exciting one as well. One could almost say that our hearts beat in anticipation, pun intended. <laughs> to capture the diversity and beauty of our rich multicultural heritage, our next performance is a remarkable blend of traditional Malay, Chinese and Indian drums. Let's give it up for the Drum Fest medley by Artistari Gantari, Marshall House in Damaru, Singapore.
applause for the wonderful performances. Thank you, everyone, for coming today. We hope you have enjoyed today's event and concert. Yes, on Racial Harmony Day itself, remember to embrace and celebrate racial harmony, not just this month, but every day. I'm Carter. And I'm Catherine Robert. Here's to Let's, Let's Embrace, embrace Celebrating Harmony 2024. <laughs> Ooh.